there everybody it's UK independent demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com thank you for joining me today hope you're all okay today it's my winter Wednesday series where I pick a set from the winter or the mini catalogue from stamping up and create three separate cards with no plan and no idea so I have picked up the cling stamp set everything essential with the essential matching punch and this is available as a bundle from the mini catalogue and it's also available as two separate items if you buy it as a bundle you get 10% off and you can purchase any of the items in this video from slimandstylish.com if you go up to the header and click buy so for my first card I quite like this you and me and I know my winter Wednesdays is using sets from the mini catalogue which is autumn and winter and I know this is quite valentiney but I'm going to use it anyway so I was also just looking to see if that would pop on there but I also want to use it with my punch and the punch fits that okay I'm not sure about the sizes you see so I'm pretty sure this is the same size as the punch oh it's just bigger okay the, uh, the stickiness on the sticky is sticking to my my punch but that looks like it's just bigger so I might put that as some background and play with him so I'm just going to pop him onto a block grab my memento in the pad And some whisper white. Okay, I'm going to ink him up. I'm just wondering as to whether I'm really happy inking him in memento or whether I want them in a different colour. I've done them in memento, so I'm going to live with them in memento. Oh, and they fit on that perfectly. It's quite a nice little tag size, actually. I like that. So now it's cut out. Yeah, I can use that as background. So I'm going to pop that onto a block just about fits the D block and some whisper white I'm going to go with a piece that is nine centimeters by 13.25 centimeters and what color shall I use as the background do, 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 do. have a little thing I'm gonna use so saffron I do like so saffron. Ink that up. And then it'd be nice to see exactly what this stamp's like as well, because I quite like this sort of wreath on here. I'll pop it in the middle. Ooh, yeah, I quite like that. I do quite like that. I think I'm having a change. I think I'm having a change. I'm going to um, clean up my stamp. And I'm going to do it in basic grey rather than memento. Just going to change the colour slightly. I think it was a bit too harsh in memento. I'll put that to the side. I might use that for a different card. different I'm really <laughs> this is the thing about my winter Wednesdays I'm never sure until I've popped them on as to whether I like them or not but I think it's yeah I think that's much better in that colour than the um the memento I just think that was a bit harsh and I've got some little hearts on here so I'm going to grab the little hearts out 
pop those on a teeny tiny block. And I'm actually going to mix these up going round. So I've got my chamois just to the side of me, just off screen. They're here, ready to start cleaning. So I'm going to do basic grey hearts, but I'm also going to do so saffron hearts. And I'm going to mix it up, just dot them around. And I want the majority of them to be smoky slate. Oh, a basic grey. <laughs> I know what ink pads I'm using. Do I want more hearts? No, I quite like it like that. Okay, and the card for the base. Don't think think I've got any so saffron cut up and I haven't got any basic grey cut up so uh, <laughs> that's a good start isn't it what colours I'm not sure if there's alternative colours that will go what about a crumb cake will that go no I do want so saffron so I'll cut what I do is I start off with my A4 piece of cardstock and then whenever I have a project like this I cut it down to the right size for my backing so I'll just get my trimmer and do that but I cut the rest of it up as well so they're all the right size and I pop them in that little drawer that I've just had out with all my colours in so that whenever I make projects going forward I've automatically got backing cut so I'm going to cut this at 10 centimetres by 14.25 centimetres and then that will go on the side and as soon as the video is finished I will cut it and pop it in my drawer because then I'll have three pieces of so saffron for whenever I want to use so saffron again that's better. Yeah, prefer that. So I'm going to get that stuck down. I'm going to use my seal. That's stuck on there. some dimensionals up here I've had a bit of a change around with my desk hoping to stop me from losing things I can't see it working because we all know I like to lose things but fingers crossed it will uh, it will work better and some thick whisper white cardstock. I've already cut it in half and scored it in half. I'm just going to fold and burnish it now. I quite like that. I'm just thinking I've got some um, shimmer ribbon here that is in, in a grey colour. I've just bought it bought it new if you were watching a few months ago well probably weeks ago actually I had a little bit of a panic and um, ran out live on video of course <laughs> so I've ordered some more now and I've got it back in and then it went on to back order because it is a very popular ribbon because it is gorgeous and I was uh, I was less than impressed it's my own silly fault running out of it but it is gorgeous ribbon so I'm just thinking am I going to pop it there you know I'm going to balance that at the back of my desk before attaching it at the end of the video and see if I actually do really want that so next up um, I'm going to play with the Christmas ones seasons greetings and joy to the world um, 
obviously, because this is the winter Wednesday, so we've got to have a bit of Christmas going on, I think. And still want to use my tag punch, so I'm just going to grab my scrap whisper light that I was using, and I'm going to go shaded spruce for this one. to the world while I've got the shaded spruce out I might not be using it but I'm going to go on to this um, be mine and I'm going to ink it up and stamp that and I just want to see what it punches out like with the tag just for fun and if it looks nice you never know it might be my third card it could be my third card. I really like it in the darker colour. Oh, okay. That's quite nice. Right, okay. Season's greetings. Oh, I like him. And then what I'm going to do separately is I'm going to punch a separate tag out. Like that, because I remember in the stamp set, where's it gone? That I've got these little snow bits here and I've had a thought that I'm going to, because I just really, really like those two so I think I'm going to pop another one in between and just have all the snowflakes dotted all over it really randomly very busy and make a three tag card I'm liking this idea I hope it works out as I've got it in my head so I'm just going to grab some scrap grid paper I'm still going to stick with the shaded spruce and I'm just going to Stamp these all over here. Okay, I think this is going to work out how I had it in my head, hopefully. yeah okay hopefully these all fit onto a piece of whisper white now so i've got a larger piece of whisper white this is 14.5 centimeters by 10.2 and i want these to all go on there like little tags oh, yes okay like that before i finish it off like that i am actually just going to do some masking so i'm just well, am I going to do some ma No, I'm not going to do some masking. I was going to, and I was going to pop all of those little stars at the bottom. But I'm now thinking I have this really nice shaded spruce ribbon. And I'm thinking I'm going to pop this on the card instead to break it up. Brilliant. So I'm just going to cut it so it's a little bit bigger than the card. And I'm going to run my seal all the way across the middle and I have a helpful tint for you with the seal because I've been struggling with it and I've been getting my fingers into a mess and everything but I think I've worked it out now you want to take it instead of using it like snail where you used to go like that you want to push it up and do it at a higher angle I'm saying this I'm not going to get it right for you so you want to do it at a higher angle all the way across like that and then instead of going to the side like we're used to with some of ours, you just want to kick it that way instead. And then when you do your second one, you see it works again and just a little light to the opposite direction. One of my team members texted that to me and I was very grateful. Very clever, my team. 
know it's not the middle, it's slightly more towards the bottom, but I'm okay with that. Oh, say that, I've gone back to it. Come on, I've just told everybody how to work you. <laughs> I think it just takes a little bit of time to get used to having it up rather than across. Because I'm so used to doing it the other way around. Right. Joy to the world. Season's greetings. And that one. Do I want anything at the top? I think it's busy enough, to be honest with you. I don't think I do. Um... I mean, I could, I could, I could put the little um, get some sort of snow going at the top there, but I honestly think the card is just busy enough as it is, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to grab some more dimensionals. I'm just going to pop this up. Now, the hint with this is going to be to do the two at the side first. So you can make sure they're the same height and same gap from the bottom to the top, like that. And then you can make sure the one in the middle is in between the two. You get your space in a lot easier if you do the outers and then the inner. Middle. Didn't get it the right height though. <laughs> Typical. After giving you that hint, I've gone and ruined it up myself. So. There we go. That's better. And that can just go straight onto a piece of cardstock. Um, bone folder. I told you, I've rearranged my desk and now I can't find anything. <laughs> so I think I'm going to stick that on quite flat. Am I or am I going to pop? Oh no, I'm going to pop it off. I've got my dimensionals in front of me. Go for it. It'll help me stick the ribbon down a little bit more anyway and make sure that stays on if I pop some dimensionals on there. And then just... When I use a bigger piece of paper, I like to stick it flush with the crease and just get a little bit then of gap around there. Okay, so that's my second one. And my third one, I do quite like that, but I have used shaded spruce already. So I'm going to pop that back. And I'm going to go bright, you know. I'm going to go with Melon Mambo and I'm going to do the Be Mine because I like it. But I'm going to do it in nice bright pink because it is a Halloween set. Sorry, it's not a Halloween set. It's a Valentine's set. So pink makes sense to me. Aren't these tags just cute? Ho, ho, ho. Okay, this is my favourite stamp now in the entire set. I didn't think it would be. I was just going to use it as a background like I did on the first one. But now I quite like it. So those of you clicking on for Christmas, I'm giving you Valentine's. <laughs> right. Now how to decorate this on my cards. I'm going to go for the bigger sheet again. So this is... 
um, oh, 10.2 by 14.5. And actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to ink it up again in my Melon Mambo. I'm going to try some second generation stamping with this. I'm going to ink it up. I'm going to stamp it onto my grid paper there, like that. And then I'm going to stamp it onto my card, like that. So it should be a slightly lighter shade now, so that when that goes on, it should pop off. Theoretically, you could have used a lighter um, shade of ink. And then... I like it. What am I going to do with it now, though? Because I feel like that that's all I want to do with it. I'm going to do something else with it. So I'm going to come back and use my hearts again because it is a Valentine card. And... No, I'm not. I'm going to use my little birdies. My you and me birds. That one that I messed up earlier, I'm going to turn over and I'm going to pop the you and me birds onto that. And I'm going to do exactly the same as what I've just done with this one. And now I'm going to stamp it onto the top here. Hopefully leaving the same amount of gaps, I'm hoping. Oh, okay. I'm quite liking this. Very lovely, lovely. So two Valentines and one Christmas and zero Halloween. I'm sorry if you're a Halloween person. There are Halloween sets on here. You've got the trick and treat one and the pumpkin. But I don't really, I'm not a Halloween type gal to be fair. So how am I going to stick you on? Am I sticking you flat and I'm popping you up and am I using a ribbon? I'm not using a ribbon and I'm not going to pop them up. I'm going to stick it flat. So. decorate it what have I got in my little magic box um, do, do, do. okay for this one here I'm going to use my elegant faceted rhinestones and I'm going to pop off the white ones and I'm just going to use a couple of those mixture of sizes to decorate the white space. I want another one on. Yep, happy with that. For this one here, I am thinking what am I thinking I really haven't decided still if I want um, the ribbon on so I've decided I don't because if I wanted it I would know by now right and I'm gonna pop a little rhinestone on each 
of the hearts that are so saffron. I'm actually doing it on the half, just off to the side. There we go. And I'm not going to pop anything on the um, shaded spruce one because I've used that gorgeous ribbon and I already think it's really sort of like, it stands out really well. So I've just banged the punch. I think it's if it's fine taking it for it it's warp and going along but when you pull back if you pull back too quickly that's where you get the problem I think you need to do it nice and slow I think slow is the key which is uh, tricky for me because I like to try and whiz through as you may have noticed <laughs> so card number one card number two card number three and they're all using the essential tag and the Everything Essential Cling Stamp Set. So let me know what you think. If you have enjoyed this video, please do subscribe, drop back again soon and see what else I'm doing. Do give me a thumbs up as well. And if you do want to purchase any of these items, head to slimandstylish.com, go up to the header bar and click buy and it will take you to my store. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.